Welcome to Music as a Voyage. In today's episode, I'm on tour in Holland as the guitarist of the Australian rock band Nymph. This is an emotional journey for singer Anne, who is returning to her motherland to perform for the first time. Her time living in Australia has fueled the musical transformation into the now vocalist and composer, fronting a rock band. I hope you enjoyed this trip with us and feel the powerful energy Ems brings to the stage. Music as a voyage. the heart of Rotterdam, Rotterdam city center in the Netherlands. We're in front of the Ferris wheel and you see the cube houses there, the famous cube houses. They're awesome and Rotterdam has one of the biggest ports in Europe. I was born in The Hague, um, which is also the Netherlands, so it's a bit further down the road. And um, yeah, I've lived there until I was 18 and then I moved to Australia. At the moment we're touring with Nymph, which is an Australian rock band. We started off in Flardinge, which is nearby Rotterdam, so nearby here. What's up, Also an awesome city, not pretty close to the Hague. the last gig yesterday in Amsterdam, which was wicked. And why Nymph? Um, so why Nymph? A beautiful creature out of the woods or out of a different world, you know? And that is why the female shape as well is intertwined in the logo. Because I'm a woman and I'm standing up front. Give the rock still a feminine touch. We paint a city red. We don't sleep tonight and we look out to the sky. What do you like to express? with your songs? I'm pretty sensitive. I'm a hopeless romantic. But mostly I feel like I there's a lot of things going on in the world and I'm very inspired by people who are politically involved and try to get a voice across to the majority of people who are actually you know, not listening. And I hope that people can come to realizations that I've been coming to. And I think that is why music is one of the strongest and most powerful tools we have. So music is a really powerful tool, I think, even to change the world and change people's lives. Definitely, right? yes, it did with me. When did you start your journey with music? Actually, I didn't start with singing until I moved to Australia. Like, I started singing like one and a half year ago. What inspired you to start then? I always had a very big curiosity towards music and rock music. I always had already a love for performing and dancing. And I wrote poets when I was really young. So the songwriting, I can say, came pretty natural. Just the singing was the biggest journey of bringing it across. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. So, and then you're saying, so you became musician in Australia. So this tour is the first time actually you're playing to your friends and to your family. Yes. So it was a big surprise. And actually, to be honest, I think my parents in general, they didn't know what to expect. I can tell like they're, they're very happy and they're actually impressed by how hard we've been working on it with the whole band. Do you have any influences or artists from Holland that you really liked? So there was this singer called Anouk. She was such an awesome rock chick. Like when I was younger, I looked at her and I was like, besides the fact that she had that she didn't care attitude, it is just, I love the fact that she was raw. I felt so connected because that is her and that's all you get. And that was the strongest message that ever came across to me. And actually I need to admit that probably even before you know, I've already listened to Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, you know, which were mostly males. And But she was the Dutch version that I was, yeah, the powerhouse. Is your song Trojan talking about something about this as well? Yes, so Trojan is the kind of political statement. It's about how I always felt. I grew up in a certain way that females always look very beautifully and feminine and I've always felt a bit tough. Not that I'm not feminine but it is that I feel that I don't care about the same things. I don't necessarily care about putting makeup on the first thing when I wake up. But there is a lot of males that expect a woman to be always looking at her best or behaving always at her best while we're as much human as men are. That is what Trojan is about because I refuse to be the prototype of woman because I'm my own unique beautiful self as all the women in the world. That should be also, that should be love in us and we should also have a strong voice as, as men and I'm not necessarily a feminist like but I just truly believe that men and women are equal and we just can all be ourselves and this should be possible without other people judging us The way I move on stage is, you know, is they, they, they feel like I really use the, the max of my, you know, of being a female, but it is not like that because there is males out there who also very like to perform and are, you know, free and open and loose and for me it's it's not an act, it's feeling the music. Embracing who I am and what I love. At the end of the day, I try not to care too much about men or, or females who think that I'm not good enough because you're as good as you think you are. I would like you also to teach me how to say music as a voyage in Dutch. Music as a voyage. So that is music is an reis. Music is an reis. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, not again. Lewis, wake up, you lazy Brazilian. Lewis? What is Lewis? You, you lazy motherfucker! I'm sick of your shit! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs>